we'll see Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans taking on Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Houston Texans taking on the NFC champions, the New Orleans Saints. in 2001 total relentlessness of consistency almost like a machine if you watch him in practice after every throw he resets his feet visualizes all the other options on a play so if he has to do it in a game it's already there has the muscle memory i started calling him ai for artificial intelligence whatever defense does during the game he absorbs it and then uses it against them as the game moves on and he'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. He was a 1,000-yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Breeze will try again on second down. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 43. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. Breeze again here on second and 10. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And the Texans scoop it. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. The Texans offense going to go to work, and it is Deshaun Watson at quarterback. Everything you want in a starting quarterback in the NFL, especially in the physical category. If you had the idea that he's one of those rah-rah, spitting fire guys, he's not that at all. But he has a will to win that really the team picks up on, and they can't wait to follow him into victory. Following the fumble recovery, Watson. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. And 
I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now, but maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to, and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed, he saw that his team was good. If he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before, find out how they handled win. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. What a moment for him. A pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the title. Yeah, that would pretty much seal the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways because, you know, unfortunately, I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl II against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison in the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big time play. But for me, the absolute classic, Willie Brown in slow motion against the Vikings for the Raiders. The grand old man, Willie Brown, 75 yards. You recall them all, and what a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And following the pick six, and they decent field position and throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back in. Yeah, they, told him, they told us they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. At the 45 yards. To throw is Watson. And he hits his target. It's Kenny Stills. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 36. 19 yards the pick up there. Move the chains. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. A first down carry here for Johnson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Running from the gun, Johnson. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Another Houston Texans. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Johnson. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Gosh, when you've got Deshaun Watson, Charles, executing a run pass option, that puts the defense in a tough spot, does it not? It does, and what I liked is that you called me this week watching your own video, your own tape, and you said, I think the runner's going to pop a few this week because of what we've seen from Deshaun Watson. His ability to get to the corner, that's where the focus will go. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards, but also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. So first and goal and a chance to make amends for the earlier pick six. They'll try the air now with Watson. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks there to make the grab. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. 
Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Here's Harris to return it. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Saints take over at first and 10. Their own 29. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Well, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And a throw in here to start the drive as they connect left side. And yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A well-executed 22-yard gain. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. for the first time with Alvin Kamara. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Brings up second and two. From the gun, it's Breeze. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. They think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Breeze leaves this one with Camara. Breaks free again. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. From the five, here's second and two. At the five-yard line. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second. They'll run. This is Kamara. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Saints have taken the lead. Solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Five plays there on that drive. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Texans take over first and 10. At their Houston own. set to take over. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They begin the drive with Johnson. 
good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Richard Sherman on the tackle. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the 35-yard line. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And this will be a Texans first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Now a first down throw, Watson. Flush to his right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Demario Davis coming in for the sack that time. Demario Davis on the tackle. It's second down. Throwing on second down. Watson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. They'll wind up just a 35-yard pack, no return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints again ready to go on offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. On the ground, Kamara. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. One-yard gain brings up second and nine. Shotgun now for Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. the standard two-week layoff you always wonder how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl well they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one so the big play changes the complexion of things here's first and ten just outside the 30 Bree's gonna throw that's to his running back it's Alvin Kamara He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 26-yard line. Three yards remain for second down. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. 14, Texas seven. Working with a second and three. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. At the 23-yard line. Now Breeze. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. And Thomas seems to be in some pain. He's still on the ground. We'll check on his status when we get back. They bring him down to sack back at the 16-yard line. Well, the 
there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. down a bit of a disaster and now on second and goal back even further to throw is Breeze and it's caught the tight end Hill and now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9 they'll wind up getting 7 on the completion but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Breeze now on third and goal. They'll set up the screen now to Camaro. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Three yards all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's Dustin Hopkins now to try the field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Hopkins kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. 17, Texan 7. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made him kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. And we focus on Duke Johnson now. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat Make sure he touches it a few times, but as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? On first down, Johnson. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. David Onyemata brought him down. A gain of a yard. Brings up second. Watson to give. This is Johnson. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Johnson, the ball carrier. Chauncey Gardner Johnson on the tackle. That's a gain of six. On third and short, they'll try option left. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. This defense is really fooled around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and possession will switch hands first and 10. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal, added on to their lead. But that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game. But we probably should go to the post-game press conference because someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive. And he's going to profess that he was happy to get points. And we know that's not true. Okay, after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Snap comes at one, and now Breeze. 
And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Running with Kamara. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 17 there in a New Orleans first down. In our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Here's Breeze to throw. Smith catches left side. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Yeah, boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. At the 11-yard line, eight yards on the pickup, brings up second and two. On second and a couple, Breeze. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Saints now add six to their lead. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough, otherwise they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Here comes Cobb. And they'll get him down inside the 30 to 27. The Texans take over first and 10. We get a glance at Duke Johnson as he heads back out onto the field. Now the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sets his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield.
Second and 12. From the gun, here's Watson. And now he'll tuck it and run. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. That's a game of eight. Makes it third and three. From the 50, it's Watson. This is Johnson. He's got it. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. And you give him that much time to throw, especially on third down, he's going to pick you apart. You've got to increase your urgency. Even if you don't blitz or bring extra people on the pass rush, the guys going after him, they've got to get home. Otherwise, exactly as you described, he picks you apart and picks up yet another first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Watson. Jordan Thomas, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Intended for Jordan Thomas. Malcolm Jenkins on Throwing again is Watson. Screen play, Johnson. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Sheldon Rankins drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Here's Jordan Berry now as he's on to punt for Houston. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked down inside the five-yard line. Getting set to go again here, the Saints and Drew Brees march out there again on offense. And he's been effective in their winning, so it makes it a little easier to put a montage together. It really does, doesn't it? Because we can see him throwing it really well. But how about everything else that's going on? Protection has been excellent. And, of course, the guys catching the ball have provided some highlight reels themselves. Yeah, I mean, it's not always just one man. He's been good, but you got the guys catching the ball, too. Yeah, you name it. It's all coming together for them. What they call that synergy? Everything working together really well. And right now, he's the focal point of it. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And a short gain here as he gets it up, only to about the six. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the six-yard line. Now this time, Breeze will throw. Oh, he'll look downfield for Camara. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Over the middle to Smith. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Now a timeout signal for him. They'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So first and 10 now from the 30. First down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Justin Hopkins on for the field goal. A 37-yard attempt. kick is good. good and that will push this lead up to 20 now Texan seven. so a capper there to a pretty good first half and I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half and not wanting to risk anything here late in the half 
if he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So these two teams will head to the locker room as we hit halftime in Super Bowl 56. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Thus far, this Super Bowl has looked less like a contest and more like a coronation. And to call the second half, let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 26 yards. Now comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 26. He'll set up the throw from the gun. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Out of the gun, Watson. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Incomplete. Brings up second and 10. Throwing again, Watson. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Five yards, now it's third and five. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To the air yet again, Watson. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, try to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now this one complete on the slant route. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's a gain of eight. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. 23-yard line. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. Kamara. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Yeah. 
A tenth carry for Kamara. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll run it with Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Saints add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. Stretches the lead to 27. That time, a six-play drive. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Here comes Cobb. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it to 26. Take over first and 10 at their own 26. And now out comes Houston. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers, they probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. No gain on the play. It's third down and six. Operating from the gun. Watson over the middle. It's Thomas. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. Faking the give, now Watson. And this would complete to Will Fuller. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Off the draw, here's Johnson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On the stop. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. And they go to Johnson again. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Texans get a bit closer. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we get to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. And the lead is down to 20. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's David Johnson who provides the capper as he scores on the touchdown run. 
So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. They're on 25-yard line. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. On the other side, they've had trouble stopping him, not only on the ground, but through the air. He's hit the century mark running the ball. He's approaching that, receiving it. I'm starting to think, Brandon, we're going to have to start judging running backs by a little bit different standard. And we know the gold standard now is 1,000 yards running the football. And the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Ross Blacklock in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and it can often hit big. But sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? typically a blitz and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen now that allows your blitzers to get there another try after the first down sack breeze open man is hill he's got it and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 his second catch of the super bowl and it's good enough for a first down all the yards, completions, just another play that's a feather in the cap of the great career of Drew Brees. And wasn't he supposed to be too small to be an effective quarterback yeah. in the NFL? Yeah, how'd that work out? Yeah, well, his footwork, I think, really sets him apart. Remember, he was a junior tennis champion. Beat Andy Roddick, the future U.S. Open champion, back when they were in the juniors. I think that footwork really helps him be the great quarterback he is now. Gets to Breeze as he's taken down. J.J. Watt, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. That partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Brings up third and 13. On third and long, it's Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Here's Thomas Morstead now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Now Cobb to return. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. And here comes the Texans now. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And this is incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target, and it's third down. He was covered by Richard Sherman. From the gun, Watson. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. 40 yards on the punt, two on the return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out onto the field comes Traquan Smith and the rest of the offense. And I know that they double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. How many times have we done games where we 
seeing a guy have a big game like this, but it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Second and six at their 49. They'll run out of the gun with Camara. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. The throw from Breeze into the hands of Smith. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. If they like going to him in the slot, he catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second down, Camara. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. Now Kamara. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 28-yard line. On the ground, this is Kamara. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. And it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Saints on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. The busy night continues for Kamara, and he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight, and this will be a 45-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle, and that lead will move from 20 up now to 23. Texans 14. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Flag down. This could set him back. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 15. From the gun, he'll set up the throw. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And now Watson throws another interception. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. 
But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Out onto the field comes Traquan Smith and the rest of the offense. All right, so let's look at these numbers. I don't want to read the tea leaves here too much, but maybe he's in his own head a little bit after that hot start and the cool off. Sometimes that happens, and this is where you get tested as a player in this league if you truly want to be an impact player or a star because that's what they're going to face each and every game. Extra coverage, extra people. <laughs> so now, do you fight through it? Do you find other ways? Or do you allow it to affect you to the point where you're no longer an impact on the game? And he'll get this one up to the 26. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Hello, partner. Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? Uh, I think so. Three away from that century mark. Got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs. Whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today, to try and get him over 100 yards. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. On the return comes Cobb. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had a victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try to have a strong note, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. But it's going to be second down. To throw again. Watson. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Sean Watson on the keeper. Malcolm Jenkins on the tackle. It's a gain of fun. Operating from the gun. Watson. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he'll go down, but now before getting this inside the 30. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. From the gun, Watson. And this throw is going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Throwing again on second and 10. Watson looking middle, and it's incomplete. Oh, Thomas unable to reel that one in, and that'll make it third down. Jenkins on the coverage. Watson looks to throw again. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Watson's pass intended for Will Fuller. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman. Watson's pass. Well, you're trailing. It's the fourth quarter, and you've got to throw the football. But the defense knows this, too. So they're just going to sit back, bring in an extra defensive back or two, the old nickel or dime strategy, Brandon, and wait for you to put that bad boy up for grabs. And this one winds up being intercepted. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at the 20. He'll start with a give to Kamara. 
And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. He was tackled at the 27-yard line. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Second and three. Again, it's Kamara. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. The Saints on third down, just one for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw him through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Rick McKinney on the tackle. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Second and five at the 39-yard line. They'll run. This is Kamara. And getting this just shy of midfield, they spotted at the 49. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Brandon, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Brings up second and four at the 31-yard line. They run it for the first time with a backup move. And he's going to be close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Texans' 26. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts and to stop them on defense without using them. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Well, lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On the ground, Kamara. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. At the 10-yard line, one-yard gain. Brings up second and nine. They run it again with Kamara. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl as his guys continue to pour it on. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? 
because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. And he puts it through. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Here comes Cobb. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 20. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. From the gun, here's Watson. It's caught. Stills right side. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Watson on third down. This is Johnson, he's got it! And he's going to have the Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. On first and 10, Watson. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he takes his just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. First down. Again, it's Watson. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. And with inside of 10 seconds, 8 to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. A shotgun snap for Watson. He gets it left side to Johnson. No gain, and it's second down. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. No gain on the play. Leads to second and goal. One last throw here for Watson. And it will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. And the Lombardi Trophy is headed back to the Bayou. The New Orleans Saints, Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.